Airedale's a fantastic dog to me. Their ability to learn, their cognitive skills are amazing. These guys are definitely smart. I think that they're highly intelligent dogs. Talented to the extreme, Airedales have served in both the military and in the White House. I think that they're a gas to watch them run and play, and, and just the general temperament of these guys is usually really bubbly. They're wonderful dogs. They can be very clownish, but they also can be very good guard dogs. The Airedale belongs to a feisty and energetic group known as Terriers. The Airedale is the largest of the Terriers and can weigh over 60 pounds. That's why they call him the King. Terriers were bred to chase ground animals. The terra in terrier is Latin for earth, and true to their name, Airedales are tenacious hunters on any terrain. That all-around versatility eventually caught the attention of the British Army. During World War I, they bravely served as messengers to transport mail. In the 20s, they became America's most popular breed making it all the way to the White House as the family dog of the Hardings. Laddie Boy even had his own hand-carved cabinet chair for high-level meetings. And guess how John Wayne got his nickname the Duke? Yep, an Airedale. His boyhood pet was named Little Duke. The Airedale of today is still an incredibly hardy and versatile dog with many of the same traits as its forerunner starting with its unique non-shedding double-layered coat. They need to be what's called hand strip, which is removing the dead bristly coat. And that needs to be done about twice a year for a pet. And if you show the dog, it needs to be done on a lot more regular basis. This top wiry layer covers a soft undercoat, both of which continue to grow like hair. What they do is they actually strip the longest coat out and it regenerates the hair follicle. Originally used for biting its prey, the Airedale still has the largest teeth of all the terriers. And while not aggressive in nature, be warned, Airedale puppies are bundles of energy who will take on just about anything. And the third and most remarkable trait of the Airedale is his extreme intelligence. Very, very bright dogs, incredibly intelligent. They learn tasks very quickly. Sit. But because of that, they also bore very quickly. Roll over. You're not doing roll over. Adult Airedales need at least 20 minutes of brisk walking twice a day to keep fit. But they do love to free run in the woods. For training, Airedales do best with praise rather than punishment. If they go off leash, make sure your Airedale responds well to a recall command. Because like all terriers, it's a given. These guys are going to chase small animals. Whether you have a farm or a city dwelling, Airedales are adaptable to most environments. They're great in all environments. If you want to keep them in warm weather, you can strip their coat down tighter. And if you want to keep them in a cooler climate, you can just grow their coat out a little fuller. Like a lot of large breed dogs, they do tend to suffer from bone and joint issues such as hip dysplasia. Grooming the Airedale can be time consuming. But that time brings you closer <laughs> with your dog. Finally, the Airedale Terrier loves to be part of a family. But because they're strong-willed, they need to be reminded who's boss. Airedales are adaptable, have few health problems, require regular and extensive grooming, need firm training, and make a great family pet. A trained Airedale could become the best friend you ever have.